I congratulate Norwich City and Sheffield United for getting prom- get promoted to the Premier League. What a tremendous achievement for both teams. Norwich City are certainly not a team that I would have thought were going to go up this season. Really tremendous from them. There was a point probably, I mean, I, I'm not exactly sure of the timeline because I have, I have to be honest, I haven't been keeping it a real close eye in the Championship. I mean, every so often I've had to look at the league table. But I think maybe after match day 10 or 12, because Leeds were top for a good while and were doing really well, but Norwich City have come in there and they look like, unless unless they lose their last game of the season and Sheffield United win their last game, and I'm not sure about goal difference and all that, then they look like they're going to win the league title and very well worthy winners. They were top for, for quite a while. They were top by quite a few points and Sheffield United and Leeds reined them back in and it looked like with probably about six games to go, it was going to be between those three teams who was going to go up and Norwich City probably will go up as champions Leeds United, it's the way that it goes in a championship. You finish third after being up in the kind of top two, on and off, on and off. And it's very rare in the championship that the third place team ends up going going up through the playoffs. It normally kind of lose. So I don't expect Leeds to go up through the playoffs. I mean, maybe they will, maybe they won't. But I, I, I personally don't think that they will. But Sheffield United and Chris Wilder, I mean, first of all, Chris Wilder was was a manager plucked from non-league by Northampton Town. Northampton Town, a team that had had managers like Gary Johnson in the past, who had done a tremendous job at Bristol City in the Championship, and they managed to procure him down to League Two. And this is when they had the so-called money and the owner that was ambitious and was going to do this and going to do that. And yet when they got Chris Wilder from non-league, they were a team that were in serious, serious financial trouble. And after been throwing money after throwing money at it, but then bringing in Chris Wilder and being complete opposite from that, Sheffield United sorry Northampton Town got promoted to League One. Uh, they're not they're not in uh, League One now. They're they're in League League Two. But it was a tremendous achievement for them, and that got him the Sheffield United job. And in his first season at Sheffield United, they absolutely romped League One. They talk about Sheffield United, a team that was relegated to the Premier League many many moons ago, and then relegated from the Championship. And he, he, his first season at the club in, in League One, a league that they, they had been struggling in, they won the league. They didn't just win the league, they absolutely romped it, got over 100 points. Absolutely incredible. Then they got promoted to the Championship, did very well there. Uh, they were top for a while and then they kind of cooled off. They ended up falling out of the playoff places because they didn't, they, didn't they didn't have the money, they didn't have the players to compete. So you would think that with this season, you'd, you would you would have thought after that maybe he's better going to pastures than you, maybe to a, a championship club that's got more money, that maybe more ambitious can can do things, or maybe even a Premier League club if they'd be willing to take a chance. I mean, certainly I think clubs should be looking at him. But no, I mean, Sheffield United this season, again, they were they were up there and they say they've been they've been kind of probably between first and and fourth for it will probably be more likely second and fourth for most of the season but that real kind of push they've made towards the end I mean as Chris Wilder said they've only lost I think once in the last 13 games which you know is, is definitely promotion for them so I mean what what tremendous job they've done they've got such a low budget Sheffield United as well and I just can't really give him enough praise as a manager he's he's really done a terrific job and brilliant for Sheffield United Leeds, I'll have to touch on the the issue with Leeds and Aston Villa. Leeds had to win the game to have any hope of stopping Sheffield United going up automatically. I mean, maybe on goal difference if Sheffield United lost their last game. Again, it's like Norwich winning the league. It's a lots of ifs and buts. But uh, Leeds United scored a, a very controversial goal. Adam Moa goes down in the middle of the pitch and... They're wanting the ball to be put out, Aston Villa. The ball's not put out, and then the ball ends up forward, and I can't remember the name of the player for Leeds, but he basically, the, the ball gets... gets. I don't know if it's even meant to have been past him, but it gets past him, and instead, again, of putting the ball out there, he's at the edge of the, the box here. He runs in, and he curls the ball past the goalkeeper, and all hell broke loose when that happened. The Aston Villa fans, the Aston Villa players were really angry, one of the Aston, Aston Villa players walked for, and I suppose a elbow, and Bamford went down and got the, got the player sent off. And I don't know if that's going to get rescinded or, or not because there's the issue now with Aston Villa: is that player going to miss the playoffs? And maybe due to the circumstances, maybe cool heads will prevail in that, and he'll maybe get that rescinded. But I mean, absolutely crazy scenes, and it went on for ages. I mean, it was a real kind of mess, and. 
Bielsa said to the Leeds players, listen, you know, let Aston Villa go up the pitch and, and score the goal. And it, it was the correct thing because such of the kind of bad, the bad temper from the incident happening. Although Janssen was not wanting to allow that while well, the player runs through, and I'm pretty sure it was Adamoa that, that got the goal anyway, the player that had, had gone down injured. The, the Janssen was not really going to let him get it, but he, he had to in the end, and real real bad-tempered scenes, but probably the, the, the definitely the best decision by Marcelo Bielsa to just say to Leeds players, listen, just give them their goal, and it kind of cancels out all the kind of nonsense. But see, I... I don't think it leads well go up in the playoffs and I'm not saying because they're not good enough I mean they're certainly good enough they were good enough to get promoted in the top two but just history always dictates in the championship that the team that finishes third is not the team that wins the playoffs but you know, we'll, we'll see what happens and all the best to them and unfortunately as I was said before with Cardiff and, and Brighton it looks like Cardiff are definitely relegated now I mean they're going to have to win their last two games I don't know who they have I mean Brighton can lose those two games but I don't, I don't really see Cardiff winning their two their chance was, if they beat Fulham there at the weekend, they lost 1-0. And unfortunately, that's it for them. I mean, it's been a horrible season for them for a multitude of reasons. I'm not really going to go into that again, but I feel really sorry for them. I think Neil Warnock did a good job to even take them this far. Because again, not too dissimilar to the situation Sheffield United will find themselves in next season. That they, they don't have the, the same money even as the championship teams, let alone the Premier League teams, and Cardiff really ran it close, to be fair to them. As far as Sheffield United next season get promoted to the Premier League, they're, they're obviously going to be a lock for going down, but then you've got to kind of look at it objectively, you've got to look at the teams coming up with you and think, well... We can we can certainly maybe do better than them, and then you look at teams that are still in the league. You look at maybe Brighton and Bournemouth, and all they've got to do is is do better than than those teams, and they can they can maybe they can maybe somehow stay up. And for what Chris Wilder's done at Sheffield United, you can't really bet against them. But it'll be interesting to see what happens. And I say I'm, I'm a big fan of him, and I hope I hope he does well. And um, for for his for his kind of reputation as rep and for what he's done, I I do hope he keeps Sheffield United up next season. But we'll we'll see what happens, and um, I hope that another club down the line, you know, bigger club will, will take a take a chance on him. But all credit to to Sheffield United, Chris Wilder, and I don't want any kind of if there's any Norwich City fans that see this video to feel like they're being being excluded. Very well done to Norwich City. I mean, say they they they're tremendous, well worthy winners of the league and. Again, good luck to them for next season in the Premier League. Well, that, that's it for this one.